Good evening, everybody. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Martin, Elizabeth, Marta, Mr. Rano. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how good are you? Good evening, doing? teacher. Good evening, good evening. Here. Okay, so we are just going to wait for a couple of minutes for the rest of your classmates to join it. Right. Let's see who else has joined. Same people. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. How are you? Let's see the team. All right, excellent. So we are going to start right now. All right, so we can take advantage of the time. So officially, good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate your punctuality, right? Gracias por estar a tiempo. We are going to start with the class, uh, what tonight's class, all right? And it's going to be about a new topic, all right? So we already have that um, class here and we are going to start with the first activity. You know, as in as every night, I like to start the class with, um, let's say, tongue twister, right? So we have been practicing different tongue twisters in order for you to improve your fluency, right? And your in intonation and mostly your pronunciation, right? Which is super good that you actually pronounce everything correctly, all right? And let's see what the tongue twister for today it's going to be. Can you see it now, people? Can you see a tongue twister? Yes, 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 yes or no? All right. Yes, teacher. Excellent. There you go. All right. So let's just start with this one here quickly. All right. This is easy. Easy, easy. All right. I will go ahead and repeat every word as every night, right? Um, and then you repeat it, you know, a good cook, repeat it, buddy. A good, good, good cook. Cool, good. As much cookies. As much cookies. As a good cook. 
Cookies, exactly right. Now we are going to uh, repeat it faster. A good cook could cook as much cookies as a good cook who would cook cookies, like that. All right, so one more time faster. A good cook could cook as much cookies as a good cook who will could cook cookies. Ready, ready. All right, so anybody who wants to participate to pronounce it. Oh, do you have questions about the pronunciation of any word? How do you pronounce this one, ladies and gentlemen? This one. How do you pronounce it? Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, remember that the pronunciation is going to be this one. Oh. There you go. Good. Like mm. this. Oops. One second here. Cool. Good. Good. Like that. No cool. L. Right? So the L. Mm -mm, mm. No. All right. I could. So let's see this one. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Any volunteer here? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, you are very shy tonight. All right, so let's see here. Oh, what is it? You want to be a volunteer? Put as as much cookies as a good cook would All right, try one more time, please. Please. Go ahead. It will be like, a good cook could cook as much cookies as a good cook who could cook cookies. Mm -hmm. Practice it, practice it, practice it, people. So I can see more people now in the class. Good evening, Mr. Mungia, Mr. Neftali, Abner, Jose Francisco. All right. No, Sure. Good evening. Carlita. Oh, Carlita. Hello. Maria. Um, let's see what else. And Sandra. Good evening. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Good, good evening, evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh -huh. Where's my volunteer, people? Where's my volunteer? <laughs> Excellent. That's the attitude. So I go with Abner first, and then I go with you, Nancy. All right. Good. Abner, please go ahead and break the ice. I could cook cold, cook as much cookies as a good cook who cold, cook cookies. There you go. Excellent. That was a nice job, right? Thank you. Super good, super good. Nancy, it's your turn. Okay, thank you. A good cook could cook as much cookies as a good cook who could cook cookies. Here you go, excellent, all right? That was a nice job as well. Thank you, thank you, good job, good job. All right, so anybody else? If not, Nancy will select the next person. <laughs> okay, let me see. One moment, please. No problem. Okay, Oscar Humberto, ah, dice oyente. Mm, yes. No. Bueno, Mauricio, entonces. All right, thank you. Thank you. Okay. A good, good, cool, good is much cookies. Is a good, 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 cool, good cookies. All right, excellent. Thank you. You practice it. That, that was very good. Thank you. Good job. Good job as well. All right, excellent. Mauricio, the next person. Elizabeth. Anna Elizabeth. Hello, Anna Elizabeth. Sorry. No, don't say sorry. Hey. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. Anna Elizabeth, go ahead. Good, good, good. 
There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now that was good job, um, Anna Elizabeth. Now, now it's your turn to select the next person. Uh, Milena. 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 All right. Hello, Carlita. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Please go ahead. A good cook could cook as much cookies as a good cook who could cook cookies. Go. Oh, excellent. Easy for you. That was a very good job. Thank you. All right, Carlita, select the last person participating in this one. The last one, the last one. <laughs> oh, I got a volunteer. Marta Marisol. All right. Marta Marisol. All right, let's go with Marta and then with Neftali. All right, go ahead, Marta. Hello. A good cook could cook as, mu as much cookies as a good cook could cook, cook cookies. There you go, excellent. That was easy, right? So you saw it. <laughs> All right, thank you. Good job. Uh, Neftali, you can do it now. Hello, everybody. Um, a good cook could cook as much, much, Cookies as a good, good, who, good, good cookies. All right, very good, excellent. And thank you for making the correction, right? In much, you did a good job on that one. Thank you very much, all right? So thank you, thank you. All right, thank you everybody for participating, all right? So you were doing a very good job on this one. And now it's time to see what the topic for today is going to be. All right, so before we talk about the topic, we go in this one in, we have a question here and the question says, let's see here with the question, the questions. Irma says, all right, oh my God, Irma. Where is it here? It will be this one. And Daniel says, very good. All right, thank you for reporting that. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the topic for today. So we have a question here to begin with this. All right, and the question is, what are company regulations? Everybody, please ask the question again. What are company regulations? Repeat it. What are company regulations? Regulations, all right. There you go, excellent. So there, uh, on the screen, you can see now a definition, right? So let's just go ahead and start uh, with the definition right now, all right? So it says right here, one second, let me get the pen here, here all right, pen, here it is. So company regulations means those rules and regulations set to determine how a company must operate internally, right? So company's regulations means those rules and regulations set to determine how a company must operate internally, all right? Let's review the vocabulary to see if you know some of the words that we have right there. All right, so uh, the word regulation, all right, it's very similar to the Spanish version. How would you translate regulations into Spanish? That is, that is correct. Thank you. All right. So then um, this one, you know, is about the meanings, right? Uh, and then rules. What is rules? Regulars. That is correct. All right. The rules set. What is set? It's a verb. What is it? What do you think it's the meaning of the verb set? Any idea or not? Hello? I don't know. Okay, no problem, no problem. If you don't know, no problem. Just let me know and I can help you with that. 
All right. So the verb set means establecer. And uh, the verb set is the same in present, in past, and in future, in other grammar tenses, right? So it says right there, las reglas y las regulaciones establecidas. All right. Establecidas para determine. What's the meaning of determine? Determinar. Exactly. How a company must. What is must? Debe. Very good. That is also another modal verb that we haven't studied yet, but it's about uh, obligations, right? So debe operar in this one as well, very similar to the Spanish word. That would be? Internamente. Internamente. Very good job. Excellent. So that would be like the meaning of a company regulations. All right. Let me ask you this question, guys. In your company, do you know the company's regulations? Or do you have company regulations in your company? Mm -hmm. In your company, do you have rules, right, to follow? All right, so those rules are the company's regulations, right? Like for example, some companies say you cannot use the phone, right? Some company says you cannot uh, take pictures or you cannot record TikToks, for example, in the company, all right? So those are like regulations or policies as well, all right? Questions about any of these words, Ria? Is it clear what a company regulation is? Teacher. Yes. Con respecto al, al, a la parte de, de company is most. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? This word, one second, let me get this. You're talking about this one? Uh huh. Yes, it's must. It sounds like a letter O. Must. Ah, pero verdad que no es la misma que cuando se dice el más. No, no, no. All right. No. So the, pronunciation, the pronunciation is very similar. Like must, oh, okay. it's like must. Right? That one is like, okay, this one right here, like. El más o la más. This one is must. All right. And this one right here, which is like debes, debes. It sounds like a uh, must. Like with a little, like if you were saying later, ah, must. You must do it. All right. This is like most. All right. You got it? Great. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else about the meaning? So let's see, for example, Mr. Antonio Ruano, can you tell me in Spanish, the phrase that you can see over there? What's the, how do you say the whole definition in Spanish? What is a company regulation? Compañía de regulación. Mm -hmm. Medio. Mm -hmm. Medio reglas. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right. Who can help me to translate it into Spanish? Mm -hmm. From English to Spanish, the definition. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. Hello. Who wants to try it? Who wants to translate from English to Spanish? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nancy. Go ahead, please. Okay. In my company, um, one regulation is avoid conflicts of interest. For example, do not accept gifts from suppliers. All right, that's a good one, right? Because it might affect the company's uh, procedures, right? All right, yes. thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, and let's say this one right here. We're going to verify this right now. Thank you uh, for the example, Nancy. So we're going to see what is next right here. Now we are going to answer those questions that we have right here. 
All right, so it says here, the question number one, and I want you to help me to repeat it after I finished. So does your company have regulations about employees' behaviors? Behavior, behavior, all right? Take a look at this word right here, super important. Everybody, behavior, repeat it. Behavior. What is the meaning of that word, ladies and gentlemen? Comportamiento. That is absolutely correct, all right? So el comportamiento, all right? So we go on this one, and the meaning, it's behavior. Comportamiento is like what? For example, Nancy was telling us an example that she cannot accept gift or presence or any kind of, um, you know, object, you know, as a compensation uh, from the suppliers because it might be misunderstood by the company, right? So she can be in problems if she accepts that or someone can fire her. What is fire, people? What is to be fired? Mm -hmm. Fire. Uh -huh. What is to fire someone? Like this one, despedir. That's to fire. Mm -hmm. Exactly. No quemar a alguien, right? So despedir, actually, that's different context. All right. So let's see this one. All right, uh, so coming back to the question. So in the question right here, it says uh, in your company, does your company have regulations about employee's behavior? Nancy gave us an example already, right? So anybody else, all right? Any any uh, regulation that you know from your company? Ana Luisa, Ana Elizabeth, Mauricio, anybody who can share a company, a company's policy or a company's regulation, Carlita? Anybody else? Maybe Neftali, I don't know if you can talk, Abner. Teacher, um, we don't take a picture with the uniform. Ah, okay. okay. <laughs> no, dije bien. Yes, solo una mira. We don't take pictures. Wearing the uniform, right? The poor wearing, which is in capital letters, it means llevar puesto, talking about clothes, all right? All right, no nos tomamos fotos llevando el uniforme, for example, llevando puesto el uniforme. All right, so yes, thank you, that's an example. Uh, let's see, Mauricio, do you have any regulation or any rule in your company? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. For example, um, eh, como por no llegar tarde. Okay, very good. What is that one, people? How do say that? Do don't arrive late. All right, so don't arrive late. Ah, okay. Exactly. Repeat it, Mauricio. Can you repeat it? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Do not arrive. 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 Late. 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 Do not arrive late. Exactly. Thank you very much. You were doing a fantastic job. All right. Thank you. What about you, uh, Anna Elizabeth? Is there any rule in your company? En español se lo puedo decir. Okay, so we are going to help you. Este, mm -hmm. eh, que no pueden trabajar dos personas que sean familiares. Ah, all right. En el mismo colegio. En el mismo Como hay varios colegios, ¿verdad? Pero en el, pueden estar en otro, de otra zona, digamos. So let's say, remember, pero no en la branch, right? Mm -hmm. En la misma branch. No relatives in the same branch, podría ser. Read, Ana Luisa, no relatives, pero sorry, Ana Elizabeth, no relatives in the same branch. Repeat it. 
llegó hora de no se le dice llegó hora de very good relatives él dijo hora de Mm -hmm. That means like parientes, exactly. Ana Luisa sent us here to the chat. It says, do not eat at the desk. Yes, exactly. Because imagine if a customer arrives and you're going to be eating a pupusa in front of the customer, right? It's not good. All right. Thank you. Hey, Nancy, again, tell us. Please go ahead. Okay. Um, other, it is not allowed to work under the influence of intoxicating drinks. Oh, yes, alcohol, right? Alcoholic drinks, all right? So also, thank you, thank you, right? So, and then remember the pronunciation of this word, it's like this one, allowed, 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 allowed. Allowed. There you go, allowed. There you go, there you go. Thank you, Nancy, for that one. And thank you, Ana Lisa, and thank you, Ana Lisa, for the examples you gave us. Let's go and check the next question. All right. So for the next question, it says right here, name three examples of unacceptable behavior in your company. All right. So what will be like unacceptable behavior, people? You know, unacceptable. So, no, 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 thank you. Mm -hmm. You know what is gossip? Yes or no? No? Gossip means his name. Like that one. Uh, chisme, all right? Do you think gossip is an unacceptable behavior? It is acceptable or unacceptable, the gossips in the job? Unacceptable. Unacceptable, because imagine people talking about you or other people, right? Great. And uh, what other unacceptable behavior will be that one? Forget signatures, right? When you forgot to sign, all right? Exactly, las firmas. You forget, forget, forget. Remember, there is a final T over there. Forget. Yes, exactly, huh? What other ones? Unacceptable. Oh, you know what? Not greeting people, greeting others, right? No saludar a otros. Imagine, so you say, for example, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, etc. And people do not say anything, right? So it's offensive. It's unacceptable. All right. So uh -huh. what other um, unacceptable behaviors can you mention? Mm -hmm. Un comportamiento no aceptable in your company. What is it? Mr. Giovanni, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Uh -huh. What about the rest? Something that is unacceptable. Mr. Pardo, good to see you. Sonia, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. All right, to shout. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. All right, yes, that's true, all right? I will say just like yell, yell at others. All right, very good, thank you. So we are going to like leave those questions here for a moment. All right, so you can continue with this one. All right, you will see here. Bullying, that's right. That's another one, bullying, 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 bullying. All right, bullying, bullying, bullying. That is correct, bullying is unacceptable. All right, thank you everybody for participating in this one. All right, so we are going to continue right now practicing the first dialogue from tonight, all right, which is this one right here. No respecting co-workers. Yes, Ana Luisa, thank you so much for that one. That is absolutely right and very important as well. All right, so let's see. We have a dialogue here, so please take pictures, 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 pictures there, because we're gonna go to the breakout room, so we're going to practice that, all right? So I'm going to start 
um, repeating it so you can practice that later. It says there, I can't believe it. That phrase, people, it has to be said at once. Tiene que ser dicha de una, right? I can't believe it. Repeat it, buddy. I can't believe I it. I can't believe it. There you go. Robert, it's addicted. Addicted. Everybody, addicted. 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 There you go. Robert is addicted to his phone. Robert is addicted to his phone. Repeat it. Robert is addicted, Robert to, is his addicted to his phone. Did you see him? Did you see him? There you go. Excellent. So you say like, you're right. Everybody, you're right. You're right. Excellent. All right. All right. Thank you. He should not chat in a meeting. Repeat it. He should not, he should chat. not chat in the meeting. All right. Excellent. So we have a new word there, which is should. All right. Should. So what is it? What should is the, meaning of the word should? Él no debería chat. Exactly. All right. So the word should, it's to express um, suggestions, right? Tú no deberías hacer esto. O tú no deberías hacer lo otro. This is why I go with should not. All right. Excellent. So like that one. You, he shouldn't or he should not chat in a meeting. Very good. Let's continue. Absolutely. That is not polite. Repeat everybody. Um, absolutely. That, that is not polite. Thank you. Thank and what you. is polite? Do you remember that from yesterday's class? Educado Cortez. Exactly. Thank you. All right. So, and then we have another one. He should answer his messages. Repeat it, please. He should answer, he should answer his, answer his message after the meeting. After the meetings. After the meeting, the meeting. Yes. And we should not talk about him. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. That's not polite either. Not polite either. All right. Excellent. So that either means tampoco. All right. Tampoco, tampoco. So that's not polite. O sea, eso no es cortés tampoco. All right. So, very good. The last one. Agree. We should help him instead. Repeat. We should help him instead. Instead. I have a question for you, everybody here. How do you translate this one into Spanish? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Concuerdo. De acuerdo, ¿no? Nosotros deberíamos ayudarlo a él ahorita. No sé. Ah, ok. Thank you. Nosotros deberíamos ayudarlo a él. All right. So, and what's the meaning of the last word? Instead. A cambio. En cambio o a cambio. All right. So, in this case, debería ser, soy de acuerdo. En cambio, nosotros deberíamos ayudarle a él. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, did you take the screenshot already? Did you take the pictures? Yes? Excellent. No. Huh? Let's see here. So we go, uh, and we are going to go to the breakout room right now so we can practice it, right? So remember, super important, you practice the pronunciation and the intonation. Es muy importante que le demos la entonación que debe de dar las palabras, right? So let's continue with this one, everybody, a los eh, breakout rooms. Y los de, que están de oyentes, por favor, también incorporarse a los breakout rooms para escuchar cómo se practica. All right? So thank you, everybody. Let's do it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you.
Mr. Daniel Castro, good evening. Let's see, William, I'm going to send you to a different room, all right? He should not shut in a meeting. Absolutely, that is not play. He should answer his measures after the meeting. And we should not talk <laughs> about him. That's not polite either. I agree. We should help help him instead. Change. Okay, in uh -huh. in Indonesia. Boy, I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in meetings. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his message after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. Uh, we should help him instead. Uh, that was nice. Very good job, guys. I don't. Mm -hmm. Entonces, eh, si darle, no? Right, right. But it is just to. Messages. Messages, correct. La otra, addict. Addicted. 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 Y esa de, de messages. 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 Y. En la primera, recuerde que es I can't believe it. I can't es, believe no, it. Ajá, no es. No es de su miedo. I can't believe. Believe it. ¿Sí, verdad, teacher? Yes, that is correct. Teacher, y la del message, messages. Messages, yes. Messages. Messages, yes. Eh, bueno, hoy yo soy Claudia y usted es Raúl. Excelente. Eh, I can believe it. I can believe it. Robert is addicted, addicted 
to his throne. <laughs> okay. I can believe it. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Uh huh. I wanna hear you practicing. Go ahead. Yes. I yes. can believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? Right. You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his message after the meetings and we should not talk about him that's not polite either agree we should help him instead okay there you go excellent easy right girls super easy yes or no yes digamos que yes carlita digamos que yes that's very easy. <laughs> That's very easy, easy, easy. All right, excellent. So I'm gonna check one more room and then we'll finish. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Thank Practice you. one more time. Don't gossip. <laughs> no, no gossip. <laughs> um, okay. No. Eh, si quiere ahora usted comience. Si quiere otra vez. Ok. Comienzo. Uh -huh. Bye. I can uh, believe this Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? Uh -huh. You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meeting and we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. I agree, we should um, help, help him instead. Oh, instead. Okay. instead. 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 Yes. Instead. Instead. Yay, 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 yay. Okay. You see that? Short. All right. We are going to go back right now to the breakout to the main season sure. so you can actually uh, practice being volunteers. <laughs> <laughs> see you there. See you. See you. All right. Welcome back, everybody else. Hello, hello, everybody else. Oops, all right, so. Everybody, welcome back. So we can start right now. I was sneezing. All right. Let's set this one here. And it's that. Perfect. All right, everybody. Do I have a volunteer now to, to help me with this role play? Oh, William. Hello, volunteer number one. Thank you. Thank you. I like it. All right. Go ahead, please. Okay, con Mauricio. Okay. Okay. Excellent, guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready. Mm. I can believe it's Robert. It's addict to this phone. Did you sit in? You're right. He's, he showed no chat in a meeting. Absolutely. 
Bev is not polite. He should answer his uh, mess messenger after yes. the meeting. And we shall not take about him. That's not polite either. Uh, great. We shall tell him instead. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, that was actually very good, guys. All right, so just be careful with the pronunciation. And for example, Mauricio, recuerda que eh, le dije al principio, right? So ese de I can't believe it va de una sola vez, all right? Sin pausas. Y um, like, for example, ahí hay un signo de exclamación, pues ahí hago mi primera pausa, right? I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone, all right? Pero aquí, for example, Hicimos la pausa, I can't believe it, Robert, right? Entonces ahí hay que tener mucho cuidado con eso, right? Para que suene de una manera más natural when you're speaking English, for example. All right, so let's see, Mauricio, try one more time. I can't believe it, Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? Intentémoslo una vez más, you can do it. Okay. I can't believe it, it. Uh, 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 uh. Robert is addicted Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. All right. So, uh, so, sorry, people. Um, please don't get me wrong. No, no, I don't want to be uh, rude, right? No quiero ser un sonar maleducado, pero te voy a interrumpir en este caso para poder entender yeah, yeah. a dónde está el, el error. All right. So, it okay. goes to here, for example, it is, I can't believe it. Ya va unido el believe it, right? I can't believe it. Una vez okay. más. I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. Robert is added to his phone. Did you see him? Exactly. That was actually way better, my friend. Very good job. Very good job. I like it. I okay. like it. Good job. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Good job. Good job. Mauricio, that was good. William, good as well. Grab a palabra messages, right? Messages, 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 right? No la confundamos con Messenger porque ese es como el mensajero. All right. Y los messages son los mensajes. All right. So, but you were doing good as well. Thank you, my friend. Mr. Pardo, I saw you were a volunteer before. Uh -huh. Tell me, who are you working with? Okay. With Humberto. All right. Humberto. Aquí está. Okay. Uh, ¿Inicia o inicia Humberto? ¿Quién inicia? Okay. Okay. All right. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's not polite. He should answer his message after the meetings. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. I agree. We should... We should help him instead. Instead, all right, very good. That was actually super nice, guys. You were doing also an amazing job. In this case, I have no corrections, right? So you were doing super good, all right? Thank you very much, Mr. Pardo and Luis Humberto for participating. Good job. Sure. Thank you. All right, anybody else who wants to participate? Thank you, Anna Elizabeth. I like it when I have volunteers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Who are you working with, Anna Elizabeth? Uh, Marisol. Marisol, all right, very good. It's okay. <clears throat> I, can't, I can't believe it. Lord is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right, he should not shut in a meeting. Absolutely, that is not all right. He should, should answer his messages after the meeting and we should not talk about him. That not polite, eight, eight. Agree, we should help him instead. Instead, all right, excellent. Thank you very much, all right? You were actually doing a good job as well. Just remember the pronunciation of the word here, and that will be this one. 
Should. Should. Ready? Should. Should. All right. So in this one, we don't pronounce the O, right? And we don't pronounce the L. So should. Repeat it. Should. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. You were doing a very good job. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Volunteers, volunteers, volunteers. Thank you, Nancy. Who were you working with? With Carlita. Oh, it's true. You were talking. I don't know about what. All right. So thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Hey. Hey, voy a comenzar yo, Carlita. <laughs> okay. 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 I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not have in the room. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his message after the meeting. And we should not talk about things that's not polite either. Agree. We should help him instead. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was nice, 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 nice as well. Thank you, girls. You were doing a very good job. All right. So in this opportunity, I have no observations since you were doing a good job with the pronunciation. Congratulations. All right. Thank you. Okay. Very good. So now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, before we continue, let me just check attendance quickly. So let's see. Quickly, quickly, quickly here. Uh, Abner Molina. Hello, Abner. Yes, he's here. All right. So, um, Alexa Cibrian. Present. Thank you. Uh, Ana Elizabeth Melendez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Ana Luisa. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mr. Pardo Camacho. Thank you. Uh, David Mugia. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, let's see this one. Neftali Medina. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Irma de Jesus. Yes, she is there. Wait one sec. Here my is there. And Erling Castro. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jose Daniel Castro. Mm -hmm. Is it? Who's saying present here? Abner says present and Jose Francisco says present. All right. Let's see. Um, who was it? Let me check it out. Castro, Castro. Jose Daniel Castro is here. All right. Jose Francisco Ordonez. Yes. Present. Thank you. Carla Milena Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Humberto Gonzalez. Thank you. All right. So Kevin Eduardo Santos. No, Kevin Eduardo Santos today. Let me check it out here. Daniel Castro is here. Kevin. Now here. All right. All right. Maria Castro. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you. All right. So Mauricio Antonio Ruano. Present teacher. All right. So Nancy Carolina, perdón, Nancy Katia Maria. Present teacher. Thank you. All right. Oscar Giovanni Menjivar. Let me see. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Humberto Argueta. He was one of this one. All right, let's see. Oscar. Here it is. Argueta Mansi. All right. So is this one? Raul Mauricio Ramirez. Mm. 
No, okay. Um, San, Sandra Yaminet? Present teacher. Thank you, all right. Uh, Sonia Maribel? Present teacher. Thank you, and William Giovanni? Present teacher. Thank you very much, everybody, for participating today and checking the attendance with me. So now let's just go ahead and continue with the next activity here, which is this one. All right, excellent. So we are going to uh, talk about behaviors right now. All right, so what is a behavior? Do you see a new screen? Yes. Great, excellent. So let's talk about behavior. Uh, a couple of uh, minutes ago, we mentioned the meaning of um, Behavior, what was it? ¿Qué eran los behaviors? Comportamiento. Exactly, right? El comportamiento. And the way that someone acts in different situations. That's a definition, right? So uh, a behavior, it's the way that someone acts in different situations, right? Or in Spanish, as we said it, comportamiento, right? A behavior can be good or can be bad. All right, so comportamiento buenos o comportamientos malos, right? So let's see. Uh, we have three different examples right here, right? So the first one says the company expects polite behaviors from all the employees. Everybody, read number one again. One, two, three, go. And the company expects polite employees. Thank you very much. Excellent. So I need one volunteer, only one volunteer, that can translate that from Spanish to English. Sorry, from English to Spanish. My bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Number one? Yes, please. Number one. Okay. Ok, dice, la compañía espera comportamiento educado de todos los empleados. Exactly, all right? That's an example of how you use behavior. Thank you, Nancy. Good job. All right, so number two, it says, interrupting other people when they speak, it's not a good behavior. Repeat, everybody. Go ahead. My good behavior, exactly. Thank you very much. I need another volunteer for translated from English to Spanish. Who is it? Mm -hmm. Excellent, Anna. So you understood the message. That was correct. All right. Thank you. Number three, it says gossiping. Oh, my God. Gossiping. All right. So gossiping about co-workers is rude behavior. Repeat, everybody. One, two, three. Go. Okay. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. So let's this one. I need another volunteer then for a saying, I mean, for translating from English to Spanish. What is it? Yes. What is it? Oh, you don't remember what is um what is that? Chismes, o sea, hacer chismes acerca de los compañeros de trabajo es un comportamiento grosero. Exactly, el chisme. All right, good, very good. All right. It says right here, eh, like that. Entonces ahí tenemos tres ejemplos de que es un comportamiento, right? Eh, puede ser de una manera eh, positive or negative, right? So let's just continue right now with the next uh, information here. Okay, so we have some examples right here. Okay, okay, okay. So let's see this one. And we have this um, vocabulary here. Everybody, please repeat it with me. Good manners. Everybody, good manners. Good manners. 
Excellent. So, could you please tell me what is the meaning of good manners? Mm -hmm. Buenos modales. Buenos modales. That is correct. So, that's actually what the good manners means. Now, we have some uh, vocabulary here, uh, like some phrases that we can use to talk about good manners. Vamos a hablar de un par de frases que son, you know, buenos modales y que tienen que ver con un buen behavior, un good behavior, un buen comportamiento. So, the first one right here, it will be, be a good friend. Everybody, be a good friend. Be a good friend. There you go. Excellent. So, and that will be what, people? How do you translate it? Ser un buen amigo. Ser un buen amigo. Exactly. All right. So, are you a good friend? Hello. Are you a good I friend? Yes. 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 Excellent. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Good. All right. So, then we have this one right here. Eh, hace poquito me puso alguien ahí en el chat. Don't shout. All right. Como no gritar. Tenemos varias palabras para gritar. Tenemos shout, tenemos yell, y tenemos scream. Do you guys know the difference between those words? Yes or no? No. Yell and shout. All right. So, like that one. Um, if you go to Google Translator, las tres van a significar gritar. All right. But what's the difference? Scream is cuando uno grita por miedo, por un susto. You know what I'm saying? Right? Somebody scares you and you scream. That's why there is, a, there is a movie. Hay una película que se llama Scream. Remember? Uh, it's because of that. Then yell. Yell es cuando una persona grita de una manera enojada o por una cólera. You know? So, que normalmente, normally, it goes with an insult. Casi siempre un yell lleva un insulto o algo grosero. All right, que va gritado. Y la palabra shout, right, es gritar, pero con una intención, for example, what I do here, like, volunteers, everybody. So I'm just shouting, for example, right? No es para asustarte, no es para hacerte sentir mal, simplemente es el hecho de elevar la voz normal. All right, so, entonces, por eso dice acá, don't yell, right? Porque ese yell es ese, you know, si te fijas cómo está la muñequita aquí en el video, en la picture, Right, aparece como molesta gritando. That's why. All right. So then you go to the next one. Everybody, help others. Help others. I do that out. There you go. Help others. Right. Do you help others? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So this one is super important. You know, two words right here. Cover your so, sorry, cover your cough and a sneeze. All right, the first word in red here. What is it, people? This one. Taparse la nariz al estornudar. Mm, casi, el taparse, yes. Pero hay dos acciones ahí. Hay dos flechitas. ¿La ven? Mm -hmm. All right. El cough is when you go like. <coughs> what is it? Toser, exactly, la tos. All right, y el sneeze, es lo que me pasó hace un par de segundos. I was like, estornudo. Exactly, exactly. There you go. Entonces, hay que cubrirse cuando estornuda o cuando tose, es lo que dice ahí. All right, so, which is actually a good manner, right? No like, but some people, mm -mm, some people don't do it. Ahí van en el bus y van, oh, 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 oh. so, good. Let's say this one right here. All right, uh, let's continue with the next one. Everybody, it says, be kind. Repeat it, be kind. Yeah, be kind. Be kind. Oh, my. And what is to be kind? Se amable. Very good, excellent. So, you know, say hi, say good morning, say go ahead, pase adelante, right? Uh, get in, et cetera, right? So, are you kind? Yes, I am kind. Very good. All right. So then it says this one right here. 
Share, everybody, share. Share. There you go, yeah. excellent. What is the meaning of share? Compartir. Compartir, exactly. Hmm, some people don't like to share when they are eating, all right? Do you like sharing? Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> if it is food, mm -mm, no. <laughs> all right, good. Understood. There you go. So this one, everybody here, rise your hand. Repeat, rise your hand. Rise your hand. There you go. Excellent. So rise your hand, like for example, when you do this one right here. All right. So you go rise your hand. Exactly. And then you go on the next one right here. Uh, say please and thank you. Repeat it. Please, thank you, Anna, for repeating. All right, so the rest, thank you. All right, so let's see. All right, it says here, uh, say please and thank you. It's actually very, um, a, a very basic thing when it comes to manners, right? So it's mandatory to say please or thank you, right? Uh, this one right here, everybody, greet others. Repeat it. Greet other. Greet other. Thank you. And what is to greet others? Saludar. Exactly. Saludar. Do you greet others every day? Yes. 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 So you say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, etc. Right? So that's it. And then you go ahead and check this one right here. To be a good listener, everybody, be a good listener. Be a good listener. Thank you, all right? And it's just to pay attention when someone is speaking, all right? Or is talking to you, right? So like that. Questions about the vocabulary? Yes or no? Yes or no? No? Okay, no problem. So let's just go ahead and continue with the next one right here. We have more vocabulary. We have more vocabulary, and this is the vocabulary that we have here as well, all right? So new words, new words, ladies and gentlemen. The first one, clean up. Repeat it, clean up. Clean up. Clean up. There you go, excellent. So what is clean up, people? Clean up. All right. Eh, there you go, exactly. So you go ahead and this one, yeah, all right? So take turns, oh my goodness, take turns. What is take turns, people? Tomar el turno. Dar turno, I would say tomar el turno, right? O esperar, you know, para el turno. So for example, in El Salvador, when you go to the bus, para los buses, nobody takes turns, right? Sabes quien puede, right? So, will you actually take the bus? Or do you take turns to take the bus, people? No. No, right? No. So, you go like, get in the bus and you run. All right? So, take a seat. Exactly. All right? So, good. Excellent. And this is another one. Be careful with tools. All right? And what is be careful, people? Ten cuidado con las herramientas. Exactly. Thank you, Maria. All right. So that was good. Then we have this one right here. Do not interrupt. All right. Imagine if I am talking right now and then you interrupt me. That wouldn't be polite. All right. So then everybody here, follow rules. Repeat, follow rules. Follow rules. And what is to follow rules, people? Take regla. Seguir las reglas. Sí, la regla. Thank you. All right. And the last one, it will be stand in a queue. Repeat it. Stand, stand in a queue. There we go. So stand in a queue is what? Estar en una cola. Mm -hmm. O hacer una cola. All right. Una so, fila. Una fila. 
when you go to the bank, when you go to Seguro Social, when you go to, well, well wherever you go in El Salvador, there is always a, a queue, right? En todos lados, the bus. Menos en el bus. <laughs> right? It doesn't apply there, all right? So, good. Questions? No questions? Okay, excellent. So now we are going to talk about something different. One second here, what happens? Okay. Teacher, ponga la lámina anterior, por favor. Yeah, sure, no problem. Gracias. This one or this one? This one? Yes, All right. thank you. You're welcome. Let me know if I can continue. Yeah, all right. Yes, yes. Thank, Thank you. you. So now we are going to talk about the bad behaviors, right? The negative things. Something that are, some things that are not good, all right? We will talk about this. So the first one here, it will be verbal. Aha, uh -huh. I have a question for you. Now that you, I can see this word, I remember now. So this one, how do you pronounce this word? Hmm. Do you think it's going to be threats, threats, threats? How would you pronounce it? Threats, como no es threats in Spanish. All right, so what is it? A ver, nos ayudan por ahí? Amenazas verbales. Uh -huh. What is it? No, no, no. Amenazas. Uh, but the pronunciation? Stress. 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 Thank you, Aye, for the address later. Threats. 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 So verbal threats. Yes, verbal what Giovanni threats. was saying son amenazas verbales. All right. Verbal. So, Maria, um, you know, it happens, right? Here in El Salvador, unfortunately, it's very common when people are driving, right? When people drive. Yeah, well, you see here is the other one, right? So um, that happens a lot here in El Salvador. Then, how do you say this word? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Would that be sweater, sweater, swearing, 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 swearing. Uh -huh. So let's see here. Swearing, 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 exactly. Swearing. Oh, thank you. All right, so swearing. And what is swearing? Jurando. Well, si usted se va a Google Translator, esa es la primera word que le va a salir. Jurando. Vamos a ver aquí. Let me see if I can show you. You see? Oops, you cannot see it here. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, he doesn't take it. All right, so usted se va a Google Translator, le aparece ahí jurando, pero abajito le aparecen como verbos jurar y el segundo le aparece como maldecir. maldecir. Mm -hmm. Que es la razón por la cual está aquí como un bad behavior. All right, so yes, swearing. Then everybody, it says the next one, pushing or throwing objects all right what is pushing what is pushing empujar o lanzar objetos that is correct empujar objetos for example está una silla y las empujas de enojado right so or lanzar objetos agarras i don't know un lápiz un lapicero and you throw it away because you're angry, right? So that's actually not correct neither, right? So, and, and you can you can hurt, I mean, you can hurt, sorry, someone else, all right? Then the last one, alguien lo estaba diciendo anteriormente esta, right? El bullying, 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 all right? So bullying is when you're making fun of other people because of the appearance, because of the nationality, because of many things um, like that, all right? Have you ever suffered bullying? No? Acoso. 
Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right. So the bullying, it's not good. All right. The bullying puede ser muchas cosas como like, you know, make fun. Eh, vamos a notar eso aquí en el chat. All right. It's just like. Uy. Miren, Irma diciendo present hasta ahorita. All right. So, hi, Irma. All right. So, make fun. Burlarse. This one is burlarse. Make fun. All right. So, this is when you are making fun of others. Puede ser bullying si te estás burlando de alguna condición especial como like eh, nacionalidad, nationality, physical condition or physical appearance, right? or preferences or religion, etc. right? So that's bullying. All right, let's continue with this one. Shame, if it's shaming. Shaming. Excellent. A ver, ¿qué nos dice el Google Translator de shaming, people? Avergonzar. Yes, yeah, sí, uh, perdón, avergonzar. Avergonzar. Exactly, right? You know, it's similar to bullying, basically. Right, it's very similar to bullying, right? Then, how do you say the next one? Humillación. That's humillación, but how do you pronounce it, huh? Humiliation. Oh, humiliation. thank you. <laughs> right, so. Humiliation. Thank you again. Humiliation. humiliation. Yes. Humiliation. Repeat it, everybody. Humiliation. Repeat it. Humiliation. 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 Exactly, right? So it's la humillación. Viene siendo también un sinónimo del bullying, right? Because you're making people feel bad. All right, then, everybody here? Gossip. 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 All right. <laughs> El gossip. Ese gossip existe everywhere, right? In todos lados. In the store, in the job, everywhere you go, in gossip. And there are people who like it or love it, right? The gossip. So let's see. Then everybody, next one. Negative. Repeat it. Negative. Neg negative. 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 negative comments. Repeat it. Negative comments. Negative comments. Negative. All right. Negative comments about colleagues. Repeat it. About, about colleagues. Negative comments about colleagues. Repeat it. Negative comments. Negative comments. Negative comments. Negative comments. There we go. So like this, but what is the meaning of the word colleagues, people? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What's that one? Compañeros. Aha, uh -huh. exactly. Como tus compañeros o tus colegas. Exactly. That's how you actually say it. All right. And um, what else is this one, Ray? So do you have any other comment or any other question about that? Ladies and gentlemen? Yes or no? No? No questions? You sure? Podríamos repasarlas todas, teacher. El significado cada uno, obviamente. Of course, of course, of course. All right. Let's go for the first one, everybody. Uh, oh, by the way, Mr. Pardo, you want to practice the pronunciation or just the meaning? Uh, two, both. Two of them. All right. No problem, no problem, no problem. All right. So let's say this one. Number one, everybody here. Verbal, a ver cómo se pronunciaba esta, remember it? Threats. Threats, exactly, Threats. right? So verbal Threats. Threats. Threats, there you go. And what is the next one? And what is verbal threats, people? Uh, malos tratos, ¿verdad? Uh, no. Amenazas verbales. Amenazas verbales. Amenazas verbales. Amenazas verbales, exactly. Amenazas verbales, there you go. Excellent. So, what about the next one? What is it? How do you pronounce it? Swearing. Swearing. Swearing, swearing, swearing. swearing. Right. And what was that one? Curando. Maldecir. 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 All right. So, there you go. There you go. And let's just go ahead and check the next one. 
pushing or throwing objects. Repeat it. Pushing, pushing or throwing objects. There you go. Yes. Excellent. Y what was that one, people? Exactly. Thank you very much. And what about the next one? Well, bullying, you know, right? We use it also in Spanish and it means acoso, right? But mm, like, you know, basically it's to bullying others, right? So like shaming, right? So con bullying nos quedamos like, basically it's the same thing. I creo que en español or in English understand what is bullying, right? And then everybody, shaming, repeat it, shaming. 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 There you go, excellent. So what is shaming people? Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. Avergonzarse. All right. So then you go on this one with avergonzarse, which is just like, um, you know, but basically, decíamos un synonym de bullying, right? Then humiliation. Everybody? Humiliation. humiliation. All right. Um, let's do this one. What is it? Humiliation. What is it? Chisme. No, it says, it says gossip. No. <laughs> Humillación. Humillación. Oh, right? yeah. Exactly. El gossip, mira, hasta con corazón lo tienen ahí. <laughs> yeah? Because you love it. No. Mm. All right. What was the gossip? Chisme. El chisme. Okay. El chisme, el chambre, el chicle. Chambre, we're calling in Spanish here in El Salvador, right? <laughs> but since we have international students, we're going to keep it as chisme, right? So <laughs> let's see. Uh, then negative comments about colleagues. Repeat it. Negative, negative comments, comments about, about colleagues. colleagues. All right, excellent. So let's just go ahead and check this one. And let's see here. Get a colleague, 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 sorry. No, Compañeros o colegas. Compañeros o colegas, that can be very good. All right. So questions about the vocabulary now? No questions? No problem. All right, excellent. So now it would be uh, it is time right now to go to the breakout rooms again, and we are going to talk about these two questions that we have here, all right? The first question, it would be, what are some polite behaviors you expect from your coworkers? Repeat it, please, everybody. What are some polite behaviors you expect from your coworkers? There you go. So, what are those behaviors, right? Que son, son los comportamientos corteses que esperas de tus compañeros de trabajo. Entonces, podemos usar el vocabulary that previously there right here. Que sean good friends, que sean amables, que no griten, right? Que compartan, que saluden, que tomen turnos, que hagan fila para calentar la comida, right? So, etc. right? All those things. And then we go to number two. What are some rude behaviors your co-workers are not expected to do? All right. Who can help me to read that question? Un volunteer. Just one volunteer for reading that question. What is it? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Mr. Andre. Uh, what are some rude behaviors your co-workers are not expected to do? All right. Thank you. That was a good job. All right. So what that would be like eh, comportamientos, right? Um, descortés, descortés que no esperas que tus compañeros hagan. So we can use one of this one, que te amenacen, que te maldigan, right? So que te tiren objetos, que te hagan bullying. So those are the examples of things that you are not going to do. Entonces right here, por lo menos people, unos tres de cada uno, es decir, tres comportamientos eh, Cortes y tres comportamientos descortes. All right. That's it. Questions? No questions? All right. Did you take pictures or a screenshot of the uh, questions that you're going to practice? 
Yeah. Excellent. So let's go to the breakup rooms. Le voy a los breakup rooms, people, so you don't gossip. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's go to the breakup rooms, people. Go ahead. No, no sé por qué no me pasó al room number four. Al room number four, María. Tú vas yes. con, con a number two, con alguien más, ¿verdad? Right? ¿Acepta? Ah. No sé qué toqué, teacher. Vuelvo a mandar. <laughs> Where are you? Let's see. María. <laughs> Híjole, María. I was on it. I was on it with Sonia. Uh, Irma, where are you, Maria? Maria, room number seven. Try again. There you go. Ana Luisa, Luis Humberto, are you there? Sandra? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. So, who's that one? Sandra. Yes. Oh, you are like just listening, right? To die. Okay. okay. I will send you to a different room para que continúe ahí en calidad de oyente, all right? Mm -hmm. Hello. Ooh, dos oyentes aquí. We are going to move you guys. Entonces. Okay, teacher. Go to room number two, Mr. Uh, Oscar. Hello. Pedir permiso? No. That would be a good behavior, right? Uh -huh. My camera is off. Mm -hmm. Hello. Questions about vocabulary, girls? El permiso sería as, ask permiso, algo así. No. Ask for, yes. Ask, ask. Y cortés, este, podemos poner este, me puede dar permiso. O, mm, no. Pero ese sería como un ejemplo, right? O bien, example. Mm -hmm. Donde Ajá. aplicamos la frase pedir permiso. Sin embargo, aquí... Los ejemplos que estamos pidiendo son como de las acciones que la gente tiene que hacer. En este caso, pedir permiso, ask for help. Eh, ser amable, be kind. ¿Me entienden? Mm -hmm. Yes. Solamente hablar mm -hmm. de la acción. Okay. 
Y, y lo bien. siento, sería una acción. ¿no? Ahí podría ser tu, eh, tu say sorry. Es decir, sí. decir, lo siento. Tu say ah. sorry. Uh -huh. I will go to a different uh, room. If you have questions, I'll be back, all right? You can call me. And... Hello, everybody. Why is everybody on silence here? Mm. What happens? Of course. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. All right. Sandra, move to a different room, please. Mr. Pardo, go to room number seven, please. Esas tres. Sí, esa. Sí, eso es so you can share uh, you can share your answers with Andre. Andre was not participating in a different group. Okay. Sorry, okay. Yeah, will be. All right, no problem. <laughs> yeah. So tell him what do you have, girls, for like the answer so you can share the information. Mm -hmm. Pues dijo que solamente tres pusiéramos, ¿verdad? De cada okay. uno, yes. Ajá, sí, ya pusimos tres basándonos en las que ya habíamos visto en la clase. A ver. Uh -huh. um, es, adelante, María. Uh, no, María is in charge. <laughs> es que pensé que iba a hablar, ajá, sí, yo dije, le interrumpí. <laughs> no, we only write the, the words. For example, in the number two, the verb are threats and bullying and humiliation. Oh, humiliation. Humiliation. No. Hu humiliation. Remember que la doble L in English no existe ese sonido, right? So, la doble L se pronuncia como L. So, entonces, por eso tenemos bullying, right? Bullying. Bullying. Uh -huh. Bullying, right? Bullying. Y en la de humiliación es humiliation. 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 All right. Humiliation. Exactly, right? This is remember, double L. It's not the same in English. We pronounce it as one L, all right? Okay. Very good. There we go. There we go. Verbal threats. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Eh, amenazas, threats. 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 Correct. Teacher, how to pronounce behaviors? Behaviors. 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 Correct. Behaviors. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Girls. Anybody else? Are not behavior. Remember, Mr. Pardo, you can participate also, right? So you can give your ideas. I will go to a different room. Okay, teacher, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hola, ¿cómo están? ¿Me podrían explicar qué hay que hacer? Es que yo me desconecté un poquito. 
¿Qué? Es que me, me ocupé un poquito, entonces no, no supe qué había que hacer en el momento. Sí, no, bueno, hay dos preguntas. Eh, la primera es eh, que si cuáles son algunas, algunos comportamientos adecuados que esperamos de nuestros compañeros. Ajá. Y pues eh, de ellos ya habíamos visto algunos eh, sí. comportamientos buenos, de los cuales con María habíamos seleccionado, por ejemplo, no, que no maldiga. Hoy ponemos pushing or throwing objects. Yeah. Okay. Number two, I have ten my college. You are not. Teacher. Yes. Para contestar las preguntas, eh, por ejemplo, en la primera, nosotros eh, en la misma respuesta podemos poner lo, las tres cosas. Por ejemplo, en la primera que dice, What are some police variants? Police expect, behaviors. Police behaviors uh -huh. you expect from your coworker, ¿verdad? I expect my coworker sería. To be honest, honest. To be honest. Ah, to be honest. Así, ¿verdad? Correct. Y, y ahí puedo solo poner coma y solamente dejar lo que esperaría en la misma respuesta, teacher. Yeah, what happens is just like, uh, for example, en las, en las últimas, eh, en este que usted tiene ahí, de los bad behaviors, Puede poner una de ellas, es decir, ¿qué behaviors usted considera que no son correctos right? eh, o que no espera que sus compañeros hagan? Y la respuesta puede ser, por ejemplo, eh, that they don't gossip, que no hagan eh, chismes, right? That they don't give negative comments, that they don't do bullying, for example, all right? Ah, eh, okay. ¿Cuál quiere poner usted, por ejemplo? Sí, que más o menos yo quería poner, bueno, con, con Mauricio estábamos poniendo ahí que, que dice, yo espero que mis compañeras no tengan malos comportamientos como bullying, eh, chismosos y, y que no, como dice ahí, que no mal, mal día o, o como él dicen, algo así. They don't do bullying, they don't swear. Right. Eh, they don't. Um, what else? Another one. Let me see here. They don't eh, threat, all right? Sí. Que no amenace. Va, eso podemos hacer ahí. So they don't bully, they don't do bullying, so they don't swear, and they don't threat. Por darle unos ejemplos de acuerdo a lo que ustedes me dicen, right? Okay, no. ando de mi mamá, se dice. Claro. Okay. Dicho, entonces, en, en, la, en la que ponemos, la que diríamos lo que no queremos que ellos tengan, eh, no podemos poner, I'm my dad, my co-worker, do not have bad, taste down a bullying, taste down a swing, y taste down a there. Threat. There, perdón. Threat, threat. Threat, threat, threat. Threat, and yeah. Yeah, it could be that one. All right. Any other question? No. No? All right. We are going to continue with the with the class, all right? So let's go back to the main rooms. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Welcome back, Anna Elizabeth. Volunteer, no. No. <laughs> All right, okay. So. Okay. Yes. Okay. No so I have um, to again, Erling, Miss Humberto, Maria, Marta, Nancy, etc. Right. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being here. 
again, all right, so we are going to continue with this one and let me share the screen again. So we were answering those two questions, right? So we got here uh, exactly like, let's go with question number one. Do we have a volunteer for question number one? Question number one. All right, excellent. So Nancy, tell me, what are those polite eh, Nosotros queremos, queremos participar como grupo, como equipo. Podemos? Okay, of course. Okay. Bueno, um, eh, María and Andre. Yes. Eh, María, what are some polite behaviors you expect from your co-workers? Uh, speak softly, uh, help others, and say please and thank you. Okay, thank you, María. Andre, what are some rude behaviors your co-workers are not expected to do? Uh, bullying and humiliation, verbal threats. Threat. Okay, thank you. Threat. That is all, teacher. That's all. Oh my God, that was actually very good. Super, super, super good. So Nancy, 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 she's going to take my job, people, as a teacher. All right, so. All right, very good job. Thank you. That was good, 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 good. Congratulations, Nancy. Nice intonation and nice pronunciation de las preguntas, right? And, and Maria and Mr. Pardo, that was actually good job pronouncing los behaviors, los polites and los rude ones. So good job, everybody. Thank you. Okay, excellent. So let's see here. Um, next one, next one. Volunteer, volunteer. Mm -hmm. Well, Nancy, this is your opportunity to select someone then. Okay. Eh, hoy no he escuchado a Erling. No I sé guess, si está de oyente. I guess so, <laughs> yes. Okay, entonces, ah, quiero ver. Ahí están las dos. El equipo de Irma, Irma. Irma is like listening also, pero no lo he puesto. Oh. Okay. Ahí están las dos Anas, está ah, pues William. Sí, Ana, Ana, entonces, Ana Elizabeth. All right, Ana Elizabeth. Okay, I say polite behavior and Marisol say real behavior. Yes. Number one, ask for permission. Number two, to say sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. Number three, be support, 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 <laughs> eh, ser solidaria. Mm -hmm. Support. How do you support. say to say to, to este, ser solidaria? Be support, supportive, este escribe, supportive. Supportive. Yay, okay. yay, yay, yay. All right, excellent. So thank you. Uh -huh. And then Maria, you said, right? Marisol. Oh, Marisol. Okay, thank you. Marisol. What are some right before you call co workers are not expect to do? Um, say rude words, number one. Number stay, two. Say is, rude words. Say rude words. Uh -huh. Number two. Be disrespectful. Number right. three. Yell at, yell at the partner. Yell at Number the partner, three. right? And that's it? Yeah. No more? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no problem. Thank you. That was actually a super nice job. You actually applied them correctly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, excellent. Uh, more volunteers, more volunteers. Uh huh. Let's see, let's see. Raise your hand, raise your hand. Hello. Okay, Ana Elizabeth, time to select someone. Yo creo que Ana Luisa quiere participar. La mía y quería levantar el dedo. <laughs> All right, from Ana to Ana, very good. Estaba pensando, I mean, okay. Go ahead. 
So you were working, uh, uh, who are you working with, Ana with Luisa? With Sonia. Okay, go ahead, please. And uh, what are some polite behavior mm -hmm. you expect from your co-worker? Um, respect, collaboration, empathy, responsibility. Responsibility, all right, excellent. So what else, what else in the next one? I continue. Uh, mm -hmm. What are some rude behaviors your coworkers are not expect to do? Uh, first, irresponsibility. All right. Work, mm -hmm. Workplace harassment. Sexual harassment. Sexual harassment. All right. Harassment. Yeah. And gender yeah. discrimination. Gender discrimination. Hey, those actually were really good, right? Están fuera de los que habíamos dado, pero that was good, right? New vocabulary. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Creo que no hace falta un grupo, all right? ¿Dónde estará? ¿Quién será? Let me see. This one is, oh, yes. William in, Maur in Mauricio, I guess. Ajá. <laughs> ah, right, right, right. I saw you. I saw you, all right? Tell me, tell me. Go ahead. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Sí. Voy a empezar con lo de, de la de la two workers are not expect to do la number two. Right. Eh, nosotros pusimos eh, bueno, voy a leer la, la question. What are some roles de barrio? Polite behaviors. Perdón, perdón. Polite. Ah, ok. Estaba leyendo la, la number two. Oh, what, the, what are you going to talk? Number one or two? Number two. Oh, ok, sorry. Sería entonces, what are some rude behaviors? Ok. What are some rude behaviors your co-workers are not expect to do? Expected. Expected to do. Correct. Okay. Um, my co-worker do not have bad variants. They not do bullying. Mm -hmm. They not uh, swing. They not there Threat. Threat, you mean? Death, threatening. Threat, threat, all right. Excellent, thank you. That was actually part of the vocabulary, right? And what about number one? And number one, it's most... Uh, and Mauricio, where's Mauricio? I'm going to con la primera, Mauricio. Eh? Uh -huh. Mauricio. Hello? disappear ok entonces vamos a hacerlo what are some polite the avions you expect for you to workers co-workers co-workers y lo que pusimos I expect my co-workers to be on net responsible y la otra sin se me Se me escapó solamente con esas dos. It's okay. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you for applying that. Thank you, everybody who participated. You were doing a very good job on that one, right? So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So now let's just continue here with the next activity here. And it's going to be this one. You know, ya en esos últimos minutos explicamos un poquito acerca de should, all right? So should, 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 and should not. Well, as you might know, eh, el should se utiliza para what, people? ¿Qué dijimos que era should? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. ¿Qué era should? Debería. Thank you, deberías, right? Y la forma negativa es should not, all right? Should. Y los verbos se utilizan en su forma base, all right? So, I like to see some recommendations. 
For example, estos son utilizados para hacer recomendaciones, so to give recommendations. For example, you can say, you should eh, practice more, you should go to the gym, you should drink more water, you should, hello, pictures, woo! All right, so, um, you should take the pictures, you should practice, you should pay you more should not pupusa. Excuse me, I heard pupusas, what? You should not to pusas. You should not to pusas. Ok. Esa está bien, pero me hace falta el verbo. ¿Cuál es el verbo ahí? It's. Exactly. It's right? You shouldn't or you should not eat pupusas. Why? <laughs> All right. So, let's say this one. In affirmative and negative, right? So, you go on those things. You should and you shouldn't right here. So, está bien fácil. How do you say, for example, for example tú deberías hacer más ejercicio? Mm -hmm. oh, no. Hello. You should do more exercise. Exactly. You can say you should do more exercise or the expression work out, right? Which is this one. Work out. All right, hacer ejercicio. You should work out. All right, excellent. So, well, let's see what happens here. Tenemos entonces acá eh, tres escenarios, right? O tres casos here. All right. El primero que ya está resuelto. Nos falta el dos, tres y cuatro. Two, three, and four. What is this going to be about? So, let's pay attention to the first part. It says, the first one, number one. Dice ahí, Peter, it's the new supervisor. He likes to give orders. He never says please. Él nunca, ¿qué dice ahí? Que él no cumple la expectativa. No. Oh, right. Él nunca dice, dice por favor. <laughs> yes, all right. So, él nunca dice por favor. Aquí está la palabra please. Exactly, right? Entonces, ¿cuál sería la recomendación para Peter? ¿Qué le podemos decir a Peter? ¿Tú qué? You, you can say please. please. All right. Nos vamos a quedar con should. All right. Uh -huh. En el caso sería Peter, should say please. All right. So, understand? Yes. Peter debería de pedir las cosas. O debería decir, por favor. Vamos a ver cuál es el number two right here. It says, when car is angry or things are not as he expects, he shouts. Like this one, all right? ¿Qué era shouts, remember? Gritar. Gritar. ¿Qué le podemos recomendar entonces a Carl? Mm -hmm. Carl, Carl show more speak softly. Um, I'll say lower, más bajo. Okay. Porque el, el slowly es como más eh, lento, right? All right, excellent. So we go on this one. All right, car should speak lower, right? A little más bajo. Thank you. That was a good one. What about the next one? It says here, my assistant, my assistant never uses salutation in her emails, right? ¿Qué era la salutation in the emails? People, ¿se acuerdan de esto? Saludar. Saludar. ¿Cómo lo saluda? Saludar. Ajá. En un correo, súper importante que le ponga, eh, esperando que usted se encuentre de buena manera, le saludamos así, etc. Right? Como un email formal, a formal email. Right? Entonces, la asistente nunca usa eh, los saludos en los emails. Right? What would be the recommendation for her? She should. She should. She should what? ¿Qué le recomendamos? Salute, salutation. All right, yeah. He should use salutations in your emails. There you go here, and we put it here. 
she should use salutation in her emails. Thank you, that was good. And we only have one more and then we can finish. Ooh, we can finish in this one right here. Yes, let's see, let's see, let's see. So um, the last one says right here, Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office. Lucy likes to take jokes in the office. ¿Qué está diciendo ahí, ladies and gentlemen? Que a Lucy le gusta contar chistes en la oficina. Exactly. Le gusta contar chistes en la oficina. Do you consider that is okay and correct? Yes. Correct. That's correct. In incorrect. Incorrect. That's incorrect. incorrect. Exactly. So what would be the recommendation for uh, Lucy? Lucy shall not. Lucy should not. Uh -huh. Not speak. Yuck. Speak. Oh, el verbo que tenemos ahí. ¿Cuál era? Jokes. Jokes. Tight jokes. So Lucy should not. Well, jokes. In the office. In the office. Like this one. So Lucy should not tell jokes in the office. Very, very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. Excellent. So questions about that, people? Yes or not? Mm -hmm. No. No. No, 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 no. All right. Yes. Excellent. So. Let's hit this one right here. Um, let's hit this one. Um, let's see here. On the chat. Vamos a ver si están, si han, si han puesto atención a las, en las estructuras. Todo el mundo to the chat. All right. How do you say? Tú no deberías fumar en la oficina. How do you say that? Tú no deberías fumar en la oficina. Uh -huh. How do you say that? To the chat, to the chat, that's it. You should not smoke in the office. Ana Elizabeth, bien, pero nos hicieron falta dos letritas. La T en not y la E en smoke al final. All right. Sonia Martinez, you shouldn't smoke in the office. That is correct, Sonia. Thank you. What about the rest? Mm -hmm. You shouldn't smoke at the office. Nancy, very good. Uh -huh. You shouldn't smoke in the office. Very good. Uh -huh. Maria, yes. And the rest, people. Ahí le falta la N a Nancy también, ¿verdad? Where? Oh, yes, Sorry. you shouldn't. That's right. Hi, Nancy. Alex pusieron ahí. All right, so good. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, excellent. Thank you. That was actually very good. And the rest, people? Ya me fueron todos estos oyentes. All right, so good. There you go, there you go. Excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Very good. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Solo cuatro respuestas y los demás, people. Somos como 40 aquí. All right, we are like 40. Hello? Hello, 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 hello. Yes. Así andamos ahorita, a ver. Hello. All right. Oh, my goodness. Everybody wants Friday. Friday, no. Friday. All right. All right. So, good. Excellent. So, ladies and gentlemen, all right, so we are going to make a pause right here because it is already at 10 p.m., all right? But remember, as in every class, I want you to please help me uh, with this, all right? So, the self-assessment, all right? It says, now I can react to appropriate and inappropriate behavior at work. Es decir, yo sé identificar un... Uh, behavior apropiado o un inapropiado y también puedo hacer la recomendación al respecto. Independientemente si lo puedes hacer tú solito 
Entonces me regalas un like, si no, occasional help, un pray, and then if not, un uh, negative here. All right. Espero sus reactions here, people. There you go. William, all right. So thank you. Erling, thank you. And Elizabeth, thank you. All right. Hey, Ana Luisa, thank you. Oscar Humberto, thank you. All right. So Mauricio, Antonio, Maria, thank you. Sonia, aparecimos todos. Excellent. I really like it. So I can see everybody. All right. This one, thank you. Thank you. And thank you. This one, look at this one, the David, all right? That's a new one, all right? Very good. Marta, etc. Thank you, all right? Great, excellent. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Have a good night. Do your homework. Hicieron el test? Do you, do the, do you take the test, all right? Yes. Get it. Excellent. Yes. Thank you, thank you. So, in that case, everybody, I'll see you on Monday, Monday, Monday. See you. Bye bye. Have a Thank nice day. Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye. bye. Take care. Bye, teacher. Take Good care. night. Good night. Sweet dreams, everybody. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Have a good night, sir. Eh, en la, sí, no le monte. escuché en la lista, pero bueno, es que tenía, estaba ocupado, pero bueno. Don't worry, ahí le tomé la asistencia, pero creo que okay. me quedé en el chat, all right? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, bye bye. Good night. Have a good night. So, Mr. Uh, Luis and Abner, bye bye and have a wonderful weekend. Take care.